Hi folks, let's talk about keyboards. Uh, yes, maybe I have too many of them, but seems that I finally found the best one for programming. Let me show you. But let's fix this. So I am editing uh, yesterday's video right now and I see that it is just huge. I will try to cut it as short as possible, but please use timestamps below and jump to the one specific keyboard which you like to see in a review. I am asked quite often about keyboards from my Instagram pictures, which one is the best one for programming and so on. So. Let's discuss that today. If you are looking for a keyboard which will make better programmer from you, sorry if you are disappointed, any keyboard will work. This one, for example, which I used for many years is just standard Mac uh, keyboard and it is comfortable to type. I really like how it feels and after many years this uh, spacebar started to fail and I just needed to replace it. So next one, Logitech Key 380. It works forever. There are two batteries inside and I replaced those maybe twice. This is very nice keyboard and mine feature what I like in it is those three dedicated uh, keys to switch between multiple devices and uh, this keyboard supports up to three Bluetooth devices and that is killer feature for me because I am switching between my Mac, my iPad and my iPhone. There are different applications which I prefer to use on iPad, I don't know, task management applications, all the writing. I used this keyboard quite a lot back in my product management job when I was typing most part of the day. I started to feel some light RSI because keys are really small. Am I recommend this keyboard? Yes, but only if you are sure that you will be able to type on such small keyboard. For me, that, that keyboard was too small. And next one which I got is Microsoft Ergonomic Keyboard. It looks a little bit like, I don't know, Alien Spaceship but actually it is really comfortable to type and that is a really good build quality with magnets to deattach uh, this uh, keyboard riser and in my opinion this keyboard riser works in the right way and your hands are really really relaxed when you type on it and you can keep your wrists on the keyboard on type comfortably so I really like this design Yes, this is Windows keyboard and uh, you don't have Mac layout, but that is not a problem because you can swap uh, keys in macOS settings and keyboard will work correctly like uh, any other Mac keyboard. I really love this keyboard, but uh, it just started to wear out and I had to buy something new and I didn't see myself buying one more device and I constantly switched between my Logitech Key 380 keyboard and this one. This one I use it because it is comfortable to type Logitech keyboard because of multiple device support. As soon as my Sculpt keyboard started to die, I got this one keyboard that is a Logitech Craft. This is really nice uh, keyboard and there are three dedicated keys to switch between devices as well. So basically I got big and comfortable keyboard which is comfortable to type with uh, low profile keys and uh, this is Bluetooth keyboard. Also backlight is here, what I really like, I still not a fully touch typer, I have to see the keys in the dark and uh, I can switch between all my devices. If you are looking to have a keyboard like this one, I would recommend MX Keys keyboard, which is new kind of version for the same keyboard but without this uh, multifunctionality uh, button and a little bit cheaper. So. Everything was fine <laughs> with this keyboard, but why this is not the last one in my uh, keyboard collection? Because of this part. 
numpad. I don't need this numpad. I like to have my <laughs> mouse here. My mouse should stay here and then I feel comfortable working with keyboard. It is way too far to reach each time for the mouse. It sounds maybe silly and uh, first of all's problem, but I use this keyboard daily. I am working at uh, my Mac for um, eight or more hours in a day and that is kind of important. So I maybe somehow self-sabotage myself, but I dropped this keyboard and I lost escape key. I put it back in the place, but it wasn't work anymore correctly. I remapped it to caps lock key and that is doable and you can do that in the max settings but i was starting to look for new keyboard and i was kind of interested to get into mecha mechanical 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 how do you say that mechanical keyboard mechanical keyboard okay mechanical so this one is one more ergonomic uh, keyboard and as you may see the design is very interesting it's different than in uh, microsoft sculpt microsoft sculpt is still more like standard keyboard but with uh, ergonomic twist for this one keys are in straight lines and uh, they are very easy to find if you are touch typing using all the 10 fingers and, the, and that feels kind of natural way to put hands on the keyboard and uh, fingers on the keys those are going in straight lines and that keyboard looks a little bit uh, strange but is surprisingly comfortable to use. I got a keyboard with uh, brown switches which are medium loud let's say so there are red switches which are a little bit more silent and blue switches which are really clicky. The beauty in ergonomical keyboards are tactile feedback. That's absolutely different uh, feeling when you type on those keyboards and you may like that or <laughs> may not like that and especially you may not like that if your netborg in the office will use keyboard like this one and you just have to try to know do you like such kind of keyboards or not and keycaps are easily removable you can start to customize your keyboards and sky is the limit for options you can get different custom keys and so on i'm thinking about blank keys to get better in touch typing otherwise i am just um, cheating and looking on keys uh, quite often when i type this keyboard have RGB backlight that looks really fun and nice in the dark and everything is better with RGB, right? <laughs> so this is wired keyboard, USB-C on this side and regular USB connector on other side. So for my 16 inch MacBook Pro I have to use dongle to, to connect this keyboard. I tried to use connected to my Dell monitor and that wasn't good experience and keyboard started to be a little bit glitchy. I had problems with some special characters but as soon as I changed USB switch everything was fine and I don't have any problems but I would really like to see a Mac layout. I heard that it is coming soon of course you can remap keys but I would like to see a Mac layout on this keyboard and that uh, middle row of keys it is very interesting you have additional backspace enter control and shift keys but those keys may be challenging and I still manage to press uh, shift or control keys when I am trying to hit spacebar. That on con side, but otherwise this is really good keyboard in my opinion. If you are looking for ergonomic keyboard and looking into mechanical keyboards. This is a keyboard which is definitely worth testing. Just take a look on this keyboard, try it. I believe you will like it. It's really interesting and comfortable keyboard to type. 
even I was typing quite a lot in my past product management career, I still didn't learn touch typing. I started to touch type quite good on this ergonomic keyboard, but as soon as I'm switching back to the regular MacBook Pro keyboard, I'm lost again. <laughs> I can't find keys and I decided that I have to nail and learn really good this touch typing on regular keyboard and after that to switch back to ergonomic keyboard and this is when one more keyboard comes in this one is a mechanical keyboard as well Keychron K6 keyboard so I really like how it looks I like design for this keyboard and this is keyboard with RGB backlight as well there are also multiple options to switch the lights and the same like on Xbox. I don't know how much configurations you can go, go through those configurations and you definitely will find something what do you like. Again mechanical keyboards that's all about customization you can change keycaps uh, this keyboard uh, have Mac layout but uh, I had included Windows keycaps as well and there is also switches on the side to switch between Mac and Windows. Size-wise this keyboard is not much bigger if uh, I am comparing with my Logitech Key 380. This is 65% keyboard so for sure there is no numpad or even functional key row is missed so that is small and comfortable but with normal key size and it is very comfortable to type. To have access to all the media functions or some special characters there are function keys and only annoying thing was access to the tilde button it is um, on escape key I am using this tilde button quite often for text formatting, but I just remapped a tilde button on caps lock key. By the way, who are using those cap lock keys? <laughs> I have no idea actually, I, I never, never used those cap lock keys, but let me know if you are using it and for what, it, it could be interesting. There are three uh, keys which together with function key will switch between three my connected devices and Lucky me, I again have one keyboard which I can use for my Mac, for iPhone and iPad. So, which is my favorite keyboard? I have two mechanical keyboards and I am back to my dilemma with one keyboard which are working with all of my three Bluetooth devices, iPhone, iPad and Mac. And another one keyboard which is ergonomic one and really easy and comfortable to type. So my favorite keyboard is mix of both of two. I am waiting, I am waiting for uh, Xbox with proper uh, Mac layout and hopefully one day there we will have uh, Bluetooth support here and for running around with my iPad I will stick with my well-trusted Logitech Key 318 it is small, it takes almost no space in the bag, it is very light and it is not a problem just to throw it in the bag together with iPad. A bit wordy, but we had quite a few keyboards to review and each of them have their own pros and cons, so I can't point just one of those and say this one will be the best for you. You have your own requirements, preferences and so on and I hope that this information will be helpful to decide do you like to try any of those keyboards. I hope this was helpful for your keyboard uh, choice decisions. If not, <laughs> let's count that as a therapy for me. Maybe I have some kind of keyboard addiction, I don't know. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite keyboard from listed and if I don't know about any else good options, <laughs> let me know about that as well. So thank you for watching, see you on the next one, bye.